Today we're going to 3D print some chain mail. And if you start browsing at all the chain mail, I gotta say there's a ton to choose from. Look at this one, it's Dragon Scale. I did a quick search on what is chain mail and it came up as a type of armor consisting of small metal rings linked together in a small pattern or form. Some of these designs are like ridiculously cool. It's a super hard choice, man oh man. I always thought it'd be super cool to have like an entire sleeve made of chain mail, but it turns out I don't think I'm gonna be able to print that much of it. But a small piece could still be cool, right? And today we're gonna be 3D printing on the P1S, shout out to Bamboo. And yeah, I've been printing all kinds of crazy stuff, so make sure to subscribe. I think we're gonna print the chain mail in this color right here. It's kind of like the two-tone. When you flip it, it changes the color. Check out the Gengar. Ganga! Then we got Rick here. This is uh, one of my recent favorite prints. This thing's pretty sick. And it's the same type of print. When you turn it, it changes colors. I already have that color preloaded in here. Man, I do have a bunch of other cool colors though. And again, I ordered these, this filament on Amazon and it comes in smaller rolls. Really cool colors. I'll throw a link in the description if you care. If not, totally cool. Tank, come here, buddy. Tank, oh, hey, buddy. You gonna 3D print some stuff? You gonna 3D print? Yeah, you're gonna print something? All right, so here's the style I picked. This is chain mill. What's cool though is the other side of it is like a NASA fabric. I don't know if you guys can see that. See, it has that design on one side and then the other side has like a chain mill. So this should be pretty cool. Download or print, open in Bamboo Studio, import into Bamboo Studio. I sure do love how easy all this is. Shout out to Bamboo, you made this so easy. So it's loading the file here. Man, look at that, that's pretty sick, right? And we'll make sure to print the right printer here or choose the right printer. I have the P1S, uh, let's choose it for this one. We will use the modified value. And guys, check this thing out. Like this looks pretty sick, right? Uh, we're gonna 3D print this chain mill and then the other side of it is like this NASA like fabric. So this should be pretty cool. And again, guys, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're gonna be printing all kinds of cool stuff and you're gonna come along with the journey. Hit me up in the comments too. Let me know what you think. What do you think, bud? Huh? You like chain mail? All right, so everything looks correct. We have the right printer, the right plate, and the right type of filament. So let's go ahead and click the prepare tab here. I think that's good enough size. See how long this takes. Maybe I'll increase it a little bit. Now it's splicing the plate, generating the wall. Do you guys know the story? All right, and I guess while that is loading here, we can clean the plate. I always clean it with isopropyl alcohol in advance here. Give this a little spritz, and it just kind of helps the next print adhere to the plate well. So people use different things, you know, dish soap and whatever. I have good luck with isopropyl, so that's good. Everything looks good with the printer here. It is finished, the last print. I have this LED on top of here with Gengar. Gengar! And it works pretty well. It lights up real nicely so that I can take 4K footage of the print while it's happening. All right, so the file has gotten ready here and it looks like it's gonna take three hours and 59 minutes. So that's not so bad. And what I'll do here is I'll send it to the printer and make sure I select the right one. Yes, I did name my printer the Beast and I do want a time lapse. So let's go ahead and send that to the printer. Four hours later. File is being sent to the printer here and I have the correct filament already loaded, so we should be good. And again, guys, this is the color. Pretty ecstatic about how that's gonna look in the chain mill. The fabric should look pretty cool here. <laughs> All right guys, the print is just finished up and it looks amazing. Look at the coloration on this. This is crazy. All right, let's break this up. Man, oh man, look at the colors on this thing. Absolutely crazy. This chain mill is so cool. It just feels amazing. It could be like the perfect thing to just play with while you're at work so you don't have to do your job. I'm gonna bring this thing outside and get some good lighting on it so we can see it in 4K. Here it is guys, check this thing out my girlfriend's gonna love this this could be like the perfect fidget spinner like tool you just sit there and play with i highly advise this print i'll throw the file in the description and guys don't forget to subscribe i'll see you in the next one peace